welcome back to my channel. So today, if you guys can't already tell by the video, but um, I am going to be testing out the new Morphe palette, the 3502 palette, and I'm actually very excited. I just received it in the mail, so I'm just going to open it and be showing you guys my first impressions and all that. Um, I've heard um, all these good reviews about it. I haven't heard a negative review, so I'm actually very excited about this. I do not own the 35.0 original palette, but my sister does, and she loves it. And so that's why I wanted to try this one out. This actually was a birthday gift. So if you guys want to see me unboxing and doing basically a first impression slash a mini tutorial on this palette, then keep on watching. Let's go. So I just undid the tape of this box just so I could open it easier. So the first product you get in the box, just a nice little bubble wrap just to keep the palette all safe. Here is the palette. It is gorgeous. I love the box it comes in. It's really cute. And then this is actually really cute. So that was all in the box. And then you get this nice little cute little card. And it's Jaclyn Hill's palette. And it tells you all the shades of them. There are 35 shades in here. And they're supposed to be more like fall, a warm tone color. So I'm excited about that. I love how they keep their palettes so nice and like bubble wrap and everything. So when it ships, it doesn't break. I know some, um companies and stuff not bashing them but when they put their um products in they just they just put like tissue in there and then they just put all the products and then put more tissue on top i don't think tissue really does anything so having um bubble wrap and stuff on the palettes is actually really nice so so this is what it looks like out of the package i know the um outside of the package looks a lot different from the other palettes the other palettes have a big giant emma on them but this is my first ever morphe palette that i own thanks to my sister for a birthday gift um i recommended it uh so i'm hoping this is really good all the reviews i've seen like i said have been excellent i haven't seen a single bad review and i'm just going to be opening it up for you guys and basically showing you guys and this is my first time seeing it in person so this is my first time seeing this palette, so let's see. It is gorgeous, honestly. Um, I am living for these colors right here. They are gorgeous. And I love how there's gold colors, all these other um, colors. So I'm actually really excited. And I love how they have brown colors too, even though I have palettes that have brown colors. I love how they have those just because um, they're easy to put in your... Um, crease and then put lashes on and out the door you go so i know i am going to want to use a shimmer and i like how they added like two oranges right here like maybe like three orange or four oranges i don't know how many oranges but i don't own any orange eyeshadow so since it's october that's actually kind of exciting and i think i'm just going to be taping it like that onto the um lid but not right now i'm just gonna do a few swatches excuse me Sorry if I'm looking rough and stuff. I haven't done my makeup, my hair, nothing, like you can tell. So, um, sorry if I do look a little rough. So, I'm actually just going to swatch a couple of them. Um, sorry if you hear unnecessary noises in the background. My dog, um, just got a bath and stuff, so he's kind of going crazy. I am super excited to swatch all of these, and I actually like the idea of having this right here, um, just because I can actually see all the names and stuff, so I'm going to get um, clear tape and I'm just going to tape that there. But for now, I am just going to put this on the side, just so I don't lose it slash damage it. I'm really excited to swatch these two bright, bright colors. Same with this. Um, basically, this whole row is really bright, so I'm very excited to swatch these. So I think I'm just going to swatch these three right now and just show you guys what they look like. Actually, these four. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. We're excited with all of these. Um, when I was swatching them, as you guys can tell, there was no fallout, which is amazing. So I'm just going to swatch them on my arm for you guys. This is the matte orange. Shimmery orange. Oh. Matte red. And shimmery red. 
So as you can see, sorry about the bad orange swatch up there, but as you can see just right there, those swatches are phenomenal. So I'm very excited to try this out on my eyes. I am going to put some concealer on my eyes and I will be right back. So I'm just going to be taking this flat brush up. Um, so I'm taking Universal and I'm just going to pick up a little bit on my brush and there was no fallout whatsoever which is amazing um definitely since i picked up that much product so in this palette they don't really have any colors that actually set your eye like you can set your concealer or primer with um so i didn't know that this is just like a very light pretty orange we'll figure it out so i mean it doesn't look bad at all i'm going to go into the color tan So I'm actually just going to be taking this brush right here, blending everything together. So far this looks gorgeous. I'm thinking I want to do the red, but I'm not for sure. I probably will. So I'm going to take Heat, because Heat is the next lightest red shade, and this is what it looks like on the brush. Once again, there's no fallout coming off of the palette whatsoever, which I love. I'm just going to lightly blend this into the crease. Sorry for the bad lighting. I have been changing my lighting systems a little bit just to figure out what looks good, what doesn't. So is that, that is what heat looks like. I'm just going to do it to the other side and I'll be right back. So, so far, this is what it looks like. I am going to be taking Fire. It is the brightest red in the palette. And I'm just going to be basically kind of doing a halo eye. So, I am taking it up with this brush. And when I pick it up, you can tell how pigmented that is. It looks like a neon red, so I'm very excited to put this on my lid. This is what it looks like on the eye. Absolutely gorgeous. So I just blended the top together on this eye. And I just love how pigmented this palette is. Stunning. Stunning, stunning. Stunning. So I'm just going to be taking this brush right here. And I am going to be dipping into... So I'm actually going to be using this brush, and I'm going to be dipping into pure, 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 and I'm just going to be adding this onto the lid, and I'm going to see if it needs Fix Plus or not. This is the eye with just Fix, I mean, no Fix Plus. <laughs> So this eye right here has no Fix Plus. I'm going to add Fix Plus to this eye just to see what the difference is. So I don't really see the difference with Fix Plus with not Fix Plus. I'm kind of liking the side without Fix Plus. Just my preference. I'm going to be going back into this brush, adding a little bit more of that red. So this is what the eye look looks like. I'm actually really liking it. I'm going to be adding some eyeliner and some lashes, and I'll be right back. Just and back with the lashes and the eyeliner on. This is what it looks like, and I'm actually loving uh, the look with lashes on. So after I do my full face of makeup, I am going to come back and I'm going to show you guys what colors I'm going to be using underneath the bottom of my um, eyelashes. So if you guys want to see that, then just keep on watching, and I will be right back. So I am back with the full face of makeup. I am going to show you guys what I'm going to be um, doing for the bottom um, underline in my inner corner. They don't really have colors to the inner corner, so I'm just going to be using my own personal highlighter. I am going to be using I'm going to be using this Revolution Baked Highlighter. I think I'm gonna go into a more of a I'm just going to be taking this brush right here and I am gonna be going into the shade. I'm gonna be going into the shade brick. It is right underneath that bright um shimmery orange color. A lot of pigment. And I'm just going to face this up where the pigment is, and I'm just going to do it under the water. So 
just like that. So I'm going to be adding black liner in my bottom waterline just to brighten it up or to add um, some color. So I'm going to be adding some mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm going to be um, adding this lip color from Tarte and it is in the color Rose. It's the Tarte Tartus Pro. Just because I want something more nude, just because I don't want to take away from the eyes. So this is the final look of me using the Morphe 3502 palette. I'm actually really loving this palette. Um, I love how my eyes kind of remind me, it reminds me of a little bit more of a sunset and stuff. So I'm actually really liking this palette. Um, I have really nothing bad to say about it. The swatches were amazing when I did some swatches. I really liked how this palette added a black eyeshadow and it's very pigmented because um just to do like a darken it up or something or you can do a smoky eye um so i really like how they added a black and i feel like this palette it may be my go-to palette for now on just for a little bit because um it is an october it is more of a fall look and it has so many different browns in it i am loving it sorry if i'm looking down i'm just looking at the palette and i love how the Morphe palette came with this, um, just so you have all the names for them, which I think is kind of cool. I really hope you guys like this makeup look as much as I did, and if you guys like this makeup look, remember to hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys can see every video I do post. So if you guys want to be a part of that notification squad, hit that um, bell right next to the subscribe button so you guys can be the first to watch my videos when they upload. Other than that, I really hope you guys like this video, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys!